500 laps in Martinsville to determine the championship for free flag is in the air. Larson clear a chase. Blaney trying to work that outside groove to get around the nine car for second. That worked really well for a lot of cars yesterday in the Xfinity Series. One lap to go. Now he's thinking if he can get the 45, the 24 won't even get the free pass. He could trap him. So it's the car he owns. How aggressive will Danny Hamlin be to lap his own race car? I think he would if he could get to the rear bumper. Through three and four for the final time. And Denny Hamlin is going to win stage one. Chase Elliott. At this point, not being a playoff car for the Ford car, Denny Hamlin has to decide how aggressive he wants to be here. And Kevin Harvick, I'm sure, will be a little more aggressive than normal trying to protect this position. One more set of corners for Harvick. Denny Hamlin. He will sweep the first and second stage from Martinsville. It's been a great year overall. It's been kind of under the radar, lacking a lot of performance this year. Chastain into the side of Keselowski. Brad's in the fence just a little bit, a little contact. Chastain. And that's the first caution that has come out different from ending the stage as we ride with Brad Keselowski, tries to refire it and get going the right direction here. And we're battling for eighth. Chastain was underneath Keselowski. Brad's have been having a good day trying to get it fired back up. Got to do it quick here. Spin it out. Spin it out. Let's take a look here and see how this happened down into turn three. The one car locks the left front up, loose into the corner, into the left rear quarter panel, just overdrive and overcook the corner. Big mistake. Three Crash. and four. The three car hard into the wall in turn three and four. Caution comes out, and Austin Dillon. The massive hit, Rick. Still waiting to see that window net go down for Dillon. It's already been a tough day for Richard Childress Racing. Tyler Reddick got out of the car not feeling well. Front rotor out. We just had way too much run on it. I don't know what happened there. Oh. Wow. You heard Richard Childress talking about a front rotor problem. For the nine. This was a lap before the spin. You see some contact here. Got into the 19. Here comes Bubba in the 45. Yeah, so then he just goes down in here and oh, he gets a little help from the seven. Oh, yeah. Corey LeJoy sends him down in the corner. We've seen that before. We saw it yesterday. Yeah, multiple times. So that brings the caution out. And oh, that hard castle hard, hard into the wall, turn three and four. Caution comes out. We'll have another restart. 34 laps to go in the race. A very similar incident to what Austin Dillon had. Looked like a right front. Earlier, I was going to tell you, so I'm going to make it 30 more laps. It looked like a brake failure issue or some type of an issue getting in the corner. Car just would not slow down. You see right front's on fire. Right front's on fire. Uh, that rubber burning. Yeah, and sometimes if you brake a rotor, when you step on the pedal, it pushes the brake pads and the, and the pucks out of the caliper. So brake fluid, fluid comes out and it will catch on fire. And this changes everything, guys. All over the back bumper, Christopher Bell. Now, just five laps to go from Martinsville. Here comes the contact. There's the push. He gets to the inside. Up on the curve. For the lead. Bell to the inside. Oh, and more contact behind him. The six gets shoved up the racetrack by Larson. And Bell is in front. Ross Chastain trying to get by the nine. Again, that points battle to determine who is the final championship four driver. Now Bell pulling away with those fresher tires. Steve the nine right here, Ram. Keselowski way up the racetrack. Briscoe on the outside three wide. His championship hopes starting to falter. As Briscoe falls back through the field, though, that's another spot for Denny potentially. You see Denny right there. You gotta have a spot for they're tied again. The tiebreaker goes to Chastain. Coming up on two to go. Denny knocks the 24 up the racetrack. Chastain two. doesn't have anybody in front of him to go past. He's too far away from everybody. Less than two laps. Christopher Bell. 
trying to do it again. He's already won his way to the next round. From Charlotte, one lap to go. Christopher Bell. If he wins the one and the 11, fighting for every point right now. Denny Hamlin, two point favorite to get in as the championship four. Bell out of turn four. He's gonna do it. He's won his way into the championship. Let's go get a championship. And the fight for the up, point buddy. right at the line. The one of Chastain past Hamlin. It was a video game move off into turn three. He put the car against the wall wide open all the way, all the way around turn three and four. Chastain, Elliott Bell, and Logano are going to fight for a championship in Phoenix. Take a look at what he did. I have never seen anything like that before in my life. Wide open around the wall in three and four at Martinsville. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness, I have never. And look at the right side of the car. It's destroyed, but he just did it. Ross Chastain, a seventh generation watermelon farmer, was supposed to be racing in the Xfinity Series a couple